Project Cars 3 has arrived, but not without its scepticism or judgement. The developers of the Project Car franchise have teamed up with Codemasters, ones known for great games such as Dirt Rally, but also the Formula 1 series which has received a lot of attention, especially with the lockdown and Formula 1 season being halted. Sadly, Codemasters have been known as the EA of the racing community. This with the latest release of the beta footage, has the racing community a bit concerned, believing that Codemasters have influenced the game to become more arcadey and less sim-like. The arcadey feel comes from a new engine with updated graphics and the intention to draw in the masses. However, Codemasters' influence in the project could be rather minimal. Slightly Mad Studios joined Codemasters late into the development of Project Cars 3. Therefore, Codemasters probably didn't have a great deal of influence on the arcadey feel. A plus side with this is that Codemasters have been renowned for their ability to create great career modes. What we know about the upcoming career mode is that it's going to be completely different to the predecessor, bringing with it nostalgia of old. The Gran Turismo's, the Forza Motorsports back of the day with upgrading vehicles, earning points and gradings of cars with different classes. Cosmetic upgrades such as body kits and liveries, muffler, I don't know, might even have a titanium tip. But I'm absolutely excited for this. This is something that the community has been needing in a sim race, a proper sim racing system for a long time. And recently, it seems like Gran Turismo 7 will also have the similar career mode and reinvented back into itself. What's great about this is again adding to the sandbox for online play, where you can choose different classes of vehicles, types of vehicles, potentially power outputs uh, and values of your vehicle. Heck, we might even be able to get this stuff of old, Super vs Skyline, naturally aspirated competitions. Uh, TCR races. If elements of Project Car 2 stay in the sandbox scenario where you can add AI to the races, this will be amazing because it is also touted that the AI has been greatly revamped as well from Project Cars 2. The engine brings with it a new concept for a race line. Instead of having the coloured line telling you where to go, when to brake, when to accelerate, there are now brake markers, apexes, exits. The reason for this is that the developers believed that the race line was causing a bit of a crutch for the gamers, including me, where there would be a dependence on it instead of a need to remember how to drive the car, trust the feel of it, my own skill and also the knowledge of the track. This driver rating will allow for better matchmaking, for quick play, challenges and also server allowances. It's suggested with the matchmaking skills that there will be challenges within the group such as time trials with a dynamic ghost for the person who might be further up in the leaderboard than yourself changing every time you catch up or overtake that of the ghost ahead of you all activities within the game will contribute to your driver rating and may also be put towards credits for your upgrades of your vehicles so serious sim races you might be able to take a bit of relief from that Similar to sim racing systems or high racing, the intention is that there will be scheduled races depending on the group that you are qualified for. From all appearances, it seems that Project Cars 3 is intending to take the top spot in the esports community, so sim racing is at high priority. Even to the point where there was a commitment between McLaren and Lando Norris with the Project Cars 3 team for some of the community members. One thing I'm greatly hoping for, especially with the combination of Codemasters and the pool that they have, is the unveiling for the first time in the sim racing community where there is a cross-platform game. I know that the first game to go cross-platform will have the market. You can have the greatest design for graphics trying to be arcadey and draw people in from your need for speed errors. You can pay people money such as McLaren for the sim racing community but if you want a game that's going to last a long time cross platform is it not even cross generational for the consoles is enough this hasn't been announced or even spoken of 
but it is on my bucket list. And if there's one game that can do it, it's Project Cars. Because I said, of course, I didn't do it. Pre-orders on the PlayStation are available and with the other platforms to follow soon after. Uh, that will be a release date of this summer for the Northern Hemisphere or for someone like me, winter. One great thing is that there's been announced that there will be no microtransactions, but if it's anything like Project Cars 2, it's quite likely that there will be DLCs. Time will tell. Overall, I'm looking forward to the game and I definitely will be getting involved and showing you all my first car. I might even tell you the story about my actual first car. I had wood holding up the windows, FYI. But it has been a pleasure. I'm DRB Athletics. Good evening.